G'day, it's Nigel here from Sax School. Welcome back to the second part of our beginner saxophone quick start course. This is the alto saxophone lesson. In part one, we covered putting your mouthpiece together, assembling your saxophone, putting your neck strap on and getting your posture right and even playing your first tone. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to start notes really cleanly using our tongue. And this is so important so we can get beautiful, clear shaped melodies. And we're also gonna learn our very first song. Lots to get stuck in with today. I'll put a link to part one down below. And also, if you are a tenor saxophone player, go check out that lesson specifically for you and tenor sax, and the link for that's down below too. So let's kick off right away and talk about tonguing. Now, tonguing is just a fancy term that we saxophone players use to refer to the way we start notes. And that's because we use our tongue. And it's very similar to the way we talk. In fact, if we think about saying two, 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 we can see that our tongue how, can you feel what it does? It kind of, for me, goes and touches the roof of my mouth, two, and then as I start the sound, two, the tongue comes down and the air flows out and then you can hear my beautiful voice. Well, guess what? When we're playing saxophone, it's kind of the same process. We've got our mouthpiece in our mouths and then when we say two, our tongue, instead of hitting the roof of our mouth, it actually hits the tip of the reed and then as we release the two, the tongue comes away from the reed and the reed's allowed to vibrate and the sound starts. Now there's a couple things we need to think about here. First of all, when we've got our mouthpiece in our mouth and we touch the end of that reed, we must make sure that we build up the air pressure behind our tongue. And I like to think of it a bit like a garden hose pipe. The water is being held back by the tap. And although the tap might be turned off, the pressure is still behind the tap and it's a bit the same as when we're playing saxophone. So if you think about the water pressure as our air and when the tongue is on that reed, we've got all that air pressure that's ready to go but it's being held back by our tongue because the tongue is holding the reed or touching the reed and not stopping it from vibrating. So we've got our tongue on the reed, we've got the air pressure built up in our mouth, we release our tongue and then the air can flow just like the water out of the tap and the reed will vibrate and the sound starts. So you grab your saxophone and we're gonna try using our tongue to start a note cleanly, but we're not gonna make a sound yet. Now, if you remember in the first lesson, we spoke about how to get your neck strap the right height so the saxophone goes easily into your mouth and I showed you where your hands go on the saxophone too. I don't want you to press any keys down on the saxophone, I just want you to support it with your thumbs and then put it into your mouth using the V shape that we spoke about in the last lesson. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with our tongue on the mouthpiece, on the reed. We're going to build up some pressure and then I just want you to release your tongue and just start breathing through the saxophone. So we're not going to blow hard enough for the sound to start. I just want to hear the air flowing and listen to your tongue touching the reed. So it's going to sound like this. We're going to go two, 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 two. Have a listen to me first. Here we go. So vu. Mouthpiece in my mouth, tongue's on the reed, I'm building up my air pressure, and then... Can you hear the air coming through? Grab your sax, see if you can do it with me. Here we go. Okay, how'd you get on with that? So you should feel the tip, it's just back from the tip of your tongue that touches the end of the reed. And the most important thing is that we're always blowing our air through even though our tongue is going on and off the reed. Okay, let's take it a step further and now blow hard enough that we can get a nice clear sound out of our saxophone. So here are all the steps. Remember, no fingers. We're gonna make the V shape, put the mouthpiece in, tongue on the reed, and then build up some air pressure and then release our tongue to get that sound. I'm gonna go two, two, two. Here we go, you ready? All right, brilliant. Let's go one step further now and start learning our very first song. Oh, hey, I should just say, this is a great place to start learning, but if you really wanna move things forward in your playing, go check out what we're doing with Sax School, because as a member of Sax School, you'll also get support from tutors, you'll be able to come to live sessions that we do, live stream sessions, plus you can connect with thousands of other learners from all around the world and get access to a huge, 
collection of courses and lessons that will basically help you with every aspect of learning saxophone and having a lot of fun in the process. As I'm filming, there's a 14 day trial running at the moment, so I'll put a link down below. Go check it out. I think you'll absolutely love it. Let's get back to the lesson. So the very first song we're going to learn together is a song I've written called 2-2. I wonder how I worked that name out. Okay, the cool thing about this song though is it only uses one note and that actually is the one note that we've learned already. Yes, you have learned a note on your saxophone and that's the note with no fingers at all. So if you're curious, that note is actually called C sharp and it's written in the music as you can see here as the third space up on our musical staff. So we can get into how to read music later, but for now I'll show the music on the screen as we go through. Now the nice thing about this song as well is that it really is just a two bar pattern and each bar is four counts. So we've got two lots of four counts or eight counts. That is an, a pattern that we repeat a number of times as we play through the music. Okay, let's not overcomplicate things and I'm going to explain to you how it actually sounds. So this is the rhythm. With our tongue, we're going to go two, 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 two. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, and. Two, 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 two. Do you want to try saying that along with me? If you want some extra brownie points, you could also clap the beat here. But the most important thing is that you're saying the two along with me. So here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. Two, 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 two. So with our saxophones in our hands, it's exactly the same process. We've got our thumbs on the back, no fingers pressed down. We're starting the note with our tongue on the reed. Oh, I'm going to pop my headphones on as well so I can hear the backing track. And then let's have a go at playing through this together. Here we go. So how about that? You already know how to tongue and you've played your first cool song as well. Awesome. And we got there so quickly, I can't believe it. Have some fun going over this lesson as many times as you need to, to get really comfortable with the process of tonguing. And then when you're ready, I'll catch you on the next lesson where we're going to learn a whole bunch of new notes on your saxophone. And I've got another fantastic fun song for you to learn as well. I'll catch you on the next lesson.